with the nasty one for his channel. Welcome back. Freaking Smash is here in the six. Last episode, we won in the regular season finale against the Salty rather handily, proving our record to 12 and 4 and securing us the one seed in the playoffs. Following the win, we made some roster moves as we signed Bishop Fuller, replacing Tusker Fuss to beef up the starting rotation. He'll be the number two starter in the playoffs. We released the level Eduardo Electro for utility man Emilio Edoyo. He's primarily going to field on defense. He will not be batting, hopefully. And we also released Tater Mustard, the rookie reliever. Just couldn't get anything going this off se this regular season. Replacing him with veteran Remington Sharp, who was on the Platypus Championship team last year that beat us. Now to bring us to the playoffs today, as the one seed will be taking on the four seeded Moose as it's a division rival contest here. Let's see how it goes. Start the playoffs. Sorlane's win up, not taking an early lead on the Sandcats, four to one. See how we do. On the mound for us is Winnie Noel. Pardon me, and on the mound for the Moose is their ace, Wanda Dregler, the former Blowfish starter. Let's go. Here's the lineup. Woody leads off at third. Pitts with DH batting second. Ho at catcher bats third. Jennings in center will bat fourth. Polbean in left will bat fifth. McFreddy bats sixth at first base. Reliable bats seventh at shortstop. Sam will bat eighth at second. And batting ninth is right fielder Dominic Burnside. All right, and for those of you who are new to the series, the way we do the playoffs is we film the entire series in one episode. So this could go two games, this could go three. The only way we're going to find out is if we play the games, right? All right, so the Moose are going to rely primarily on their pitching to get things done as their offense is about average. Speed's pretty good. Defense is abysmal, but their, their pitching is stellar. For us, uh, we've got a pretty even team. Good defense, uh, good starting pitching, above average bullpen, above average offense. The only thing we don't have is speed. So, all in all, I think we did a good job balancing the team out. Let's make this happen, right? Here we go. Game one about ready to get underway. Action wheels and bridges do up first for the Moose. DHL reaction ready to lead off. Well, on the mound for us. Can we see her regular season stats? As we know in the regular season, Winnie went 3-1. and one. She had a 3.95 ERA, 1-2-8 whip. In her four starts, she went 27 in the third innings, which is just under seven innings a start. 12 earned runs given up in uh, 27 and third innings. 30 hits surrendered, four of them homers. She walked five and struck out 35, batting average against 275. Very good numbers for the ace. And the lineup for the Moose looks like this. DHL reaction leads off, followed by the center fielder Windy Wheels. And it's third baseman Jamie Bridges, first baseman Wixit Redier, shortstop Nacho Crisp, left fielder Buster Biggs, right fielder Jose Tremendo, newly added second baseman Zoom Dada Cruz, and batting ninth catcher Jason Briefs. Here we go. Liner to second, Salmon leaves, he can't get there, that's going to be a base hit in the right center for action. Start the game. Now the center Windy Wheels. Windy Wheels up next is the center fielder. There he goes on the first pitch, it's going to be an easy stolen base for uh, action. His first of the playoffs, he's one for one. Change of middle of the plate, ground at the second. Sam will take that to first for the first out as the runner gets the third. That'll bring up the third baseman, Jamie Bridges. About third today for the Moose. That was off the first pitch, 0 1. Dribbler to third. Woody has no play at home. He has to go to first, but that he'll get bridges. But the RBI will go to Jamie as action scores on the grounder. One nothing Moose. Now to bring up the first baseman, Wicks at ready. You're getting his first at bat of the postseason. Grounder to second on the third pitch. Salmon fields it cleanly. That's uh, going to end the inning, but the Moose get their first run. 
thanks to a leadoff single from Action, who then steals second and then scores on a ground out by Bridges. Bottom one, Woody Pitts and Ho do up against Wanda Dregler, the Moose's new ace. Here's Woody, the third baseman, leading off. Bit of a cold streak for him to end the regular season. Taking a look at the Moose pitching lineup for Tregler. She was 1-2 and two in the season, uh, 6 7 5 ERA, one nine three whip. 19 runs given up, 14 of them earned. She went 18 and 2 thirds in her four starts, which is uh, not even five innings a start. 32 hits given up, uh, three of them homers. She walked four, struck out 12, had a batting average against 356. Very, very poor year for the new ace. She's ready, so is Woody. Here we go. Second pitch is popped up, shallow center. Easy play for Wheels as he's charging. Makes the catch, one down. Brings up the DH stump pits. Contact with right-hander active here as the captain batting second today. About off 0-1. Played on the inside heater, 1-2 and two the count as tough out activates for pits. Fastball inside, turned on and skied to right center field. Over for it is Wheels. He'll make the catch, two down. Gonna bring up catcher Effort Ho batting third today. Outside pitch active for the backstop for the Freebooters. Ooh, good pitch. Change it down the middle, rip foul, one and two. Pass down and then popped up, shallow right field, out for Dela Cruz. Second baseman puts away, it's a 1-2-3 inning for Dregler. To the second, we're down one. Chris, Biggs, and Tremendo do up against Noel. There's Chris, shortstop batting fifth today. Quickly behind 0-2 as he fouls that back. Tough out actor for the shortstop. Out off again. Just count remains at 0-2. Slider up and in, dribbled to second. Salmon charges backhands and fires. One down. Brings up left fielder Buster Biggs, batting six today for the Moose. Two seamer up, lined in the left center field. That's going to hit off the wall out there. Just out of the reach of the outstretched glove of Pole Bean, as he's going to get that double out of this as Biggs was hustling out of the box. He's in scoring position with one down here for the seven hitter, Jose Tremendo, the right fielder. That off 0 and 2. Two, two, good check swing take. <coughs> Change up up and away, way out in front of it. Strike three. First punch up for Noel, two down. Right, bring up the second baseman, Del Cruz. chance here for the second baseman. Can she convert it with two down? Quickly behind 0 and 2. Down and then called strike three and that's back to back punch outs for Noel to end the inning. She strands the runner in scoring position. Bottom two. It's still down one. Jennings, Polbean, and McFreddy do up. Nico Jennings, the center fielder, leading off the inning. Won the triple ground on offense for the season. Fortunately, he finished runner up in the MVP voting as that went to Greg Fuller, the ace or starter for the other conference. Boop down the right field line is a fair ball as it's into the corner for Jennings. As, uh, going after it's Tremendo as he misplays it off the side wall. Lead off double for the center fielder. Brings up left fielder Martin Polbean moved up to the fifth slot for the game today. Martin coming into his own here in his third year. Behind on the changeup, 0-1. Ball grounded to shortstop Crisp. He'll look the runner back and go to first. One down. Brings up first baseman Harsh McFreddy. Second year man batting in the sixth slot today. Pass ball up. Sky to right center field. Up for Tremendo. Make the catch for the second out. 
Picks up the shortstop, Hesta Reliable, batting seventh. He has power versus right-hander and low pitch active here. Looking to drive in the run. Curveball middle in is hung and ripped into right field. Will it get over Tremendo's glove? No. He runs it down at the warning track to end the inning. Leadoff double is stranded by the Freebooters to the third. Briefs, action, and wheels do up as we still remain down by one run. Here's catcher Jason Briefs batting ninth today for the Moose. Two pitch coming. Slider up and away. Check swing outside. Two and two. That's what that in the way. She swung over the top of the strike three. Third straight punch out for Noel. One down in the inning. We'll bring up action. One for one with a single. Sky ball left center field over for Jennings. Takes catch for the second out. Going to bring up center fielder Windy Wheels is over one. Two the count here as Noel gets ahead. You see him down in the ways outside. Two and two. Pass with that and then grounded in the hole to third. Woody cuts it off and fires. In time, that ends the inning. One, two, three for Noel. Bottom three. Still down one. Sam and Burnside and Woody do up eight, nine, and one for the Freebooters. Bring up second baseman Cole, the fish man, Salmon. Ended the season on a hot note as he hit two homers in the regular season finale against the Sawteeth. Inside pitch active here. Fastball up and in, lined up the middle in the center. That's a hard hit base hit for, for Salmon. He's going to lead off the inning with the single. Now to bring up right fielder Dominic Burns side. The right fielder has contact for his right hander active here. Batting in the ninth slot today for the free bidders. Swung late, one on one. Change it down, ground it up the middle. Dela Cruz dives and cuts it off. No play at second. She'll go to first on the fielder's choice. One down. Score a runner in scoring position here for Woody. Oh, for one today. Good take high, ball one. Down and in, two and oh. Change it at the knees, driven deep left center field by Woody. He got a good crack at that one. Hits it well on the wall. It's off the fence. That's going to be extra bases for Woody. Runner had to retreat the second, though, to respect the play, but he's going to round third and try and score. Throw from Chris is late. It is an RBI double for Woody, and we are tied at one as he misses the home run by a matter of inches. Brings up the captain, Stump Pitts. He's over one today with a fly out. Ooh, just late. One on one. Curveball middle in, ripped into right field, but it's right at Tremendo, two down. And you do not want to run on Tremendo's arm, trust me. Two down, and here's Ho with the RBI chance. He's all for one. Flew out his first time up as well. Two other count. Pass bopping away, grounded right at Dela Cruz on the one hopper. That'll end the inning, but the Freebooters get a double from Woody to drive in the run and tie the game. 4-1-1 the score to the fourth. Middle of the lineup up for the Moose, Bridges, Readier, and Crisp. Bridges 0-for-1, RBI grounded on the cards so far for the third baseman. Noel locked in here after the 1-2-3 inning last time out. One hopper to Salmon, one down. He's up Readier, 0-for-1. Slider away, hard ground to the second on the first pitch. Salmon cleanly fields it, two down. Now to bring up Chris, bow for one. Yeah. Oh, and two quickly to count as tough out activates for Crisp. He's it down the way, way out in front of it, strike three. Fourth punch out for Noel today, as that's a one, two, three inning for her. Bottom four, we're tied at one. Jennings, Polby, and McFreddy do up. Jennings doubled his first time up and was stranded at second in the second inning. Curveball 
curveball down, ripped in the hole to Fright, diving as Dela Cruz to cut it off, firing to the pitcher in time, one down. I bring up Paul Bino for one, flew out his first time up. Or sorry, grounded out his first time up, he grounded out the shortstop, that's right. Middle and fastball ripped into center field, hit pretty well by Paul Bean, but wheels his back for it, two down. Brings up McFreddy, 0 for 1, flew out his first time up to right field. Fastball middle in is fisted up the middle as he gets through cleanly. McFreddy with his first hit today, he's 1 for 2. Brings up Reliable, 0 for 1. Flew out to right field his first time up. Change up at the knees. Ripped hard in the right center field. Going back for it. Wheels to the warning track. He will run it down in front of the fence as Reliable just missed extra bases. To the fifth. We're tied at one still. Biggs, Tremendo, and Dela Cruz do up. It's Biggs, one for one today with a double. Stranded there in the second inning. O2 pitch coming. Fastball, but then chased it high. A strikeout for Noel, her fifth. One down, and that'll bring up Tremendo, 0 for 1. Skyball into right field on the third pitch is in for it. Burnside. A call off Salmon. Make the catch for the second out. I bring up Dela Cruz 0 for 1. Dela Cruz struck out her first time up. One two pitch coming. Chased it outside on the two seamer. Another punch out for Noel, her sixth. Another one two three inning for Winnie. Bottom five. Sam and Burnside and Woody do up. Sam and one for one today with the single. Then scored a run in the third inning. Curveball down is grounded softly to second. Easy play for Dela Cruz. One down. Bring up Burnside 0 for 1. He uh, grounded that his first time up. Two on the count. Change it at the knees. Skied the left center field. He just missed that one. Over four wheels. I'll make the catch. Two down. I bring up Christopher Woody, who had an RBI double his last time up. He's one for two. Drove in so far the only run today. Cracked it off the left center wall as uh, Dregler now locked in. Slider middle in. Line to left center over the leaping Chris glove. That's going to be in the gap and all the way to the wall. As Woody looking for his second double of the day. He will get it as he beats the throw from wheels. Puts him in scoring position with two down for Pitts, who's over for two. Stump flew out his last time up to right field. Quickly behind 0-2 as the tough out activates for Dregler. Or not Dregler, Pitts. Pitts chases the high fastball, but lines it softly to center. This could score Woody as he rounds third. He's going to try and beat it. Here's the throw. It's offline and cut, and that will be an RBI single for Pitts as it's 2-1 freebooters as we take the lead. I bring up Ho, 0 for 2. Flown out twice today as well. Sorry, uh, Ho grounded out the second bases last time up. He flew out his first time up. Ball off the catcher's glove as Pitts moves up to second on the play. 1-1 one, one count coming. Change good side, rip foul, 1-2. and two. Fastball middle in, fisted to right center field. That's a blooper. That's going to be in for another base hit. Pitts will score easily from second as he was running on the contact. And it's a 3-1 freebooters lead. RBI to Ho. Picks up Jennings, 1 for 2 with a double. Fastball down the middle, line to right center field. Another base hit. As this two-out rally continues for the freebooters. There's now two on with two out after the single by Jennings. He's 2 for 3. Brings up Polbean. Flew out his last time up. He's over 2. He's also grounded out. 
Straggler now tens. She was locked in before this rally started. Polbean now ahead 2-0 oh in the count. Fastball up. Polbean drives that into the right center gap. Will it get down? Not quite as Wheels runs it down. That ends the inning. Still two runs for the Freebooters with two outs. Give them the lead. 3-1 the score to the sixth. Briefs action and Wheels do up. Here's Briefs. He's 0-1 today. Liner to right center. Jennings dives and cuts it off. That will hold Briefs to a single. Good play. Runner first to lead off the inning, and that will bring up action. One for two with a single. Only the third hit for the Moose so far, as she blows a fastball by action. 0-2 the count. Liner down in the way is outside. One and two. Let's bump it in. One hopper to second. Sam flips the second one. Reliable to first. Double play. Good deke by Sam to freeze the runner. That erases the leadoff single. Two down for wheels. Nobody on. He's over two. One one the count. Change of away call to strike. One and two. Ladder up and in. Foul off. Still one and two. Out off again. Out off again. Wheels fighting here. Change it down in the way, way out in front of it. Strike three, seven punch out for Noel today as that ends the inning. One hit given up, but it's a race down to double play ball. Bottom six, we're still up two. McFreddy, reliable, and Salmon do up. Here's McFreddy, one for two with the single. Curveball, middle away, grounded at the middle, diving Dela Cruz to make the stop. Good play, one down. Dragler now back to neutral, and that'll bring up Reliable over two. He's flown out twice today. Flew out to the wall in right center field his last time up. Curveball down at the knees, driven deep to center. Right at wheels, though, two down. That'll bring up Sam and one for two with a single. Grounded out his last time up. Curveball middle in, in the gap to right center. That's extra basis for Salmon. He'll be in with a double here with two down to extend the inning. For Burnside, he's over two. Dregler down after five and two thirds. Nine hits given up with three and runs. Is coming out of the bullpen as ace reliever Charlie Best. Can he hold him off here? Curveball at the knees, Burnside sits on it, hits it deep, dead center field. Did he get enough? Yes, he did. Cannonball coming at you into the Freebooters bullpen, right to the right of the batter's eye. First homer of the playoffs for Burnside. He was homerless in the regular season. 5-1 the score. As that first run is charged to Dregler, and that second one goes to Best. Brings up Woody, 2-3, he's doubled twice, driven in a run. Best now tense after the home run. Pass with that and then hit up the middle. Diving Dela Cruz to cut it off. Should go to first. That ends the inning. But the Freebooters get two on the home run by Burnside as we now take a four run lead. 5 1 to the fifth, seventh. Bridges, Readier, and Crisp do up middle of the lineup for the Moose. Bridges over two today with an RBI. He hit a ground out in the uh, first inning, which scored the first run of the game. Looper to center on the fourth pitch. Jennings charging in. Makes the catch one down as he almost overruns it. <laughs> He's a bread hero for two. Dribbler to first on the second pitch. McFreddy bare hands to the bag. Two down. Makes it crisp over two. Chris struck out swinging his last time up. Broken bat back to the mound as it's under Noel's glove. Salmon fields it cleanly to get it to first in time, and that ends the inning. 1-2-3 for Noel once again, bottom seven. Hits Ho and Jennings do up for us as we're ahead by four. 
Hits one for three today, single and an RBI. Specialist active for best here. Curveball hit hard up the middle on the ground. Another hit for Pitts, he's two for four. Brings up Ho. RBI single last time up, he's one for three. Curveball middle in, Ho waits on it, drives it deep, dead center field. Did he get enough? It's off the top of the fence, that's extra bases. Rounding third is Pitts, he's going to try and score from first. He will on the double by Ho, it's now 6-1. to one. Second RBI for Ho, he's 2 for 4. That'll bring up Jennings, 2 for 3, double and a single. Specialist active again for best. For about the knees, Jennings sits on it, hits a deep right center field. Tremendo runs to, over to make the catch in the gap for the first out. Runner tags and gets the third. That'll bring up Paul Bean, 0 for 3. Flew out the center field his last time up. Infield in to try to cut the runner off at the plate. Fastball at the knees, line to left center field. Fields makes the catch, but that's deep enough to score Ho on the tag. Sack fly for Pole Bean, it's now 7-1. to one. And we have McFreddy, 1 for 3 with a single. Fastball down the middle, line to right center, base hit for McFreddy. We'll keep the inning alive here. For Reliable, 0 for 3. He's flown out three times today. Specialist acting as well as low pitch. Change it down and in. Sky to right center field. That will be over for Wheels to make the catch. That ends the inning. But the Freebooters get two more runs as we extend our lead. 7-1 the score to the 8th. Biggs, Tremendo, and Dela Cruz do up. Biggs 1 for 2 today. Struck out swinging his last time up. Well, now on fire here. Blooper down the right field line. That is going to be a fair ball as Biggs will have his second hit today. His first single, he's two for three. Now batting, the right fielder, Jose Tremendo. Brings up Tremendo, 0 for two. Well, no longer still on fire, though. Blooper to left field on the third pitch. Pole being right there for it. Makes the catch one down. Brings up Dela Cruz over two with two strikeouts today as she is tense. Runner goes on the first pitch. Throw down by Ho. In time as Biggs is thrown out. First time he's tried to steal in the postseason. He's 0 for 1. That off, one and two. You see him down and in, check swing inside, two and two. Change up and in, way out in front of it, strike three. Eighth punch out for Noel today, as that's Dela Cruz's third today. She has the hat trick, bottom eight. Seven one, still the score. Sam and Burnside and Woody do up. Here's Sam in two for three, double single. Uh, single his last time up. Or doubled his last time up. Specialist and inside pitch active here in this battle. Fastball middle in, fisted to left. That's a base hit for Sam in his third hit today. He's three for four. Puts him on the lead off the inning. That'll bring up Burnside. Two run homer last time up. One for three today. Change away, line to center, base hit. Burnside has his second hit today. He's two for four, as it's first and second for the Freebooters. None down. Brings up Woody, two for four, two doubles and an RBI. Change up at the knees. Woody sits on it, hits a deep right field off the wall. Tremendo plays it cleanly. It'll be a single for Woody as a run scores. It's eight to one. Burnside to third. Runs at the corners. None down for Pitts, who's two for four. Two singles and an RBI on the cards. Infield in here. Swung late, one on one. Nope. 
Change up, hit up the middle, base hit. Pitts has his another RBI today as he's 3 for 5. 9 won the score, first and second, none down still. Brings up Hove. Uh, RBI double last time up, he's also singled in a run. He's 2 for 4. Best now rattled. Curveball up and away, hitting the hole. Past the diving Dela Cruz. It's going to be another attempt to score as the throw comes in. Just late. RBI single for Ho. It's 10 to 1. He's up Jennings 2 for 4, double in a single. Specialist active for best. Change up with foul, 1 on 1. Change of middle in, grounded the short. Chris the second one, Dela Cruz the first, it is a double play. Two down, runner at third, and then bring up Paul Bean over three with an RBI as best is now tense. Sack fly for Paul Bean last time up. Rip foul, one and two, the count to Martin. Rebel up and in, it's popped up, shallow left center, out for it, crisp. He'll make the catch, that ends the inning, but the Freebooters get three more runs as they make it a 10-1 game to the ninth. We have a nine-run lead, briefs action, and wheels two up against Noel, who's going for the complete game. Briefs one for two today with a single. Noel's still on fire here to start the ninth. First batter reaches on a single, though. Pardon me, the leadoff man for the Moose is on. His action's up now. One for three with the single. He's also scored a run today and stolen a base. Broken bat behind the plate, 0 and 2. Check swing call to strike up and away. Ninth punch out for Noel today. One down in the inning, and then I'll bring up Wheels, 0 for 3. Change it down, grip to third. Woody the second one, Simon the first, just late. Fielder's choice, two down. I'm going to bring up Bridges over three with an RBI sing. Ground out today. First with two-seamer line to second. That is right at Sam and him. He's the catch. Complete game for Noel as the free bidders win easily in the first game. Ten to one. Good offensive and pitching performance for us today. Moose scored first, but uh, we scored ten times more. <laughs> Looking at their box score, only five hits today. Two for briefs, two for bigs, and one for action. Only RBI goes to Bridges on a ground out in the first inning. And for us, uh, hit this today were Paul Bean and Reliable. Uh, three hit day for Woody, Pitts, and Salmon. Two hits for Burnside, Jennings, and McFreddy. Uh, RBIs, two for Woody, uh, two for Pitts, three for Ho, one for Paul Bean, and two for Burnside with a home run for Burnside as well. Regular five and two thirds, so she'll take the loss. Nine hits, four earned runs. She falls to 0 and 1. Best two and a third innings, nine hits, six earned runs, one homer. For us, Noel, complete game, five hits, one earned run, nine strikeouts. She improves to 1 and 0. Noel, the player of the game, followed by Woody with his three hit day as he drove in two runs and scored twice. And Ho is the third place finisher. He had three hits, uh, three RBIs, and one run scored. All right. So we take game one, which means all we need to do is win the second game and we advance to the next round. Hopefully we can do it. Alright, let's sim up here. Beevils taking on the Nemesis. Three seated Beevils win seven to one. Jack's taking on the Grapplers. And the four seated Jacks win three to one. We were the only lower ranked, the only home team to win the first round. And the Sirloins win in extra innings, beating the Sandcats 10 to 9 as they sweep them out. Alright, so if we win, we will play the three seed Sirloins, which means we still have home field. Alright. 
on the mound for us in game two is left-hander Bishop Fuller making his debut for the Freebooters as we signed him to replace Tusker Fuss in the rotation and for the Moose it will be former Hot Corners ace Yolanda Cooper. Set the lineup here. Looking, I'm going to keep it the same as last game as it worked really well for us. Uh, only difference is Herbie Nixon is in the lineup today instead of Burnside. Burnside did hit a homer, but there is a righty, a lefty on the mound here, not a righty. Mm, okay. Tough, 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 tough. Alright, so it'll be Woody, Pitts, Ho, Jennings, Polbean. Salmon, Nixon in right field, McFreddy, and then Reliable. Let's go. Alright, we're on the road here. Let's see if we can take care of business and get this sweep. If we do, it's a matchup with the Sirloins next time. If not, we play game three. Alright, here we go. Woody Pitts and Ho do up first here against Cooper. Woody leading off. Went three for five in the first game, driving in two. Let's take a look at Cooper's regular season numbers here. For Yolanda in the regular season, she was one and one with a 255 ERA and an 097 whip. Seven earned runs given up in her four starts, going 24 and two thirds innings, which is almost six in the third innings to start. 19 hits given up, 4 of them homers. She hit 2 batters, walked 5, and struck out 16. Batting average against 209, which was the best out of the entire starting rotation. Cooper had no run support in her starts, but she pitched well all year, so that's very good. Here we go. What are you ready? Let's go. to count coming to Woody. And he chased it up and then fastball. First punch out for Cooper. One down. Brings up Pitts, the DH. Three for five in the first game as well. Also driving in two runs. Slider away. Bloop the short right at Chris. Two down. Brings up Ho, the catcher. Three for five in the first game. He drove in three runs. Outside pitch active for Ho. Popped up the second pitch to shortstop. Chris there. It's a one, two, three inning for Cooper. Bottom one action wheels and bridges do up for Fuller. Action one for four in the first game. Scored a run. Looking at the lineup for the Moose, it is the exact same as last game. The only difference is Scooter Sandbrick is in the lineup at first base while Dela Cruz is out. Action is in the game at second, which moves readier to the DH roll. Uh, batting order is almost exactly the same as well. The only difference is Sandbrick is where Tremendo was last game. Other than that, everything else is the exact same. Alright, for Bishop Fuller, in his four starts in the regular season, he is 1-2. 4-9-8 ERA with a 1-6-2 whip. He gave up 12 earned runs in 21 and two-thirds innings, which is just over f almost five and a third starts, uh, five and a third innings to start. 29 hits given up. One wild pitch thrown. He walks six. And struck out 20, batting average against 319. He did not give up a home run in the regular season. So Fuller didn't have a great year, but he is better rated than Fuss, and he got to pitch the entire year, so has that going for him. Fuller is originally a member of the Heaters organization here to start the series. Don't know where he was during this regular season, I will have to check. Grounded to short on the third pitch. Reliable bare hands and fires, one down. He's up wheels, hitless in the first game. I believe he went over four. Pops up the first pitch behind the plate. Ho over for it. Makes the catch. Two down. He's up bridges. Oh, for four on the first game, but he drove in a run on the RBI ground out. It's the only run the Moose scored in the first game.
Second pitch lined in the right center. That's going to be a base hit for Bridges, his first hit in the playoffs. He'll be on here to extend the inning with two down. Brings up the DEH, Ricks it readier. 0 for 3 in the first game. Quickly ahead 0 and 2 here. Foul off 0 and 2. Change it down in the way, dribbled to first. McFreddy there on the high hopper. He'll go to first himself, and that ends the inning. One hit for given up by Fuller, but he gets around it. Bottom to the second. We're tied. Jennings, Polbean, and Salmon do up. Here's Nico Jennings, center fielder, two for five in the first game. Change up at the knees, rip the second right at action, one down. Brings up left fielder Martin Pohl being hitless in the first game. He was 0 for 4, but he did drive in a run on a sack fly. Cooper here locked in already. First pitch, second pitch at the knees, line to the right. That's a base hit for Pohl being his first hit in the postseason. First hit for the Freebooters as well as runner at first with one down. Brings up second baseman Cole Salmon, went 3 for 4 in the first game. Moved up two slots in the lineup because of it. Behind 0-2. Fastball up, blooped in the center. That's a base hit for Salmon. That's two back-to-back -back hits for the Freebooters. First and second with one down. Brings up the seven-hitter, rookie Herpy Nixon, making his playoff debut as he sat out the first game. Burnside didn't hit that uh, game. He went two for four. And he hit a two-run homer. Nixon in because the left-hander is on the mound, not a right-hander to start. Burnside hits better against righties. One and two the count here. Change of away, grounded the third. This will be a double play. Bridges to second one. Action the first around the horn. It's a double play. Bottom two. Chris, Biggs, and Sandbrick do up. Crisp hitless in the first game. He went 0 for 3. Struck out twice. Pops up the third pitch behind the plate. Ho back to the backstop. Makes the catch one down. Brings up left fielder Buster Biggs. Two for three in the first game. Singled and doubled. Quickly ahead 0 and 2. Back up and away. Blooper to the center. Jennings charges. He can't get there. It's another hit for Biggs. Be one for one today. That'll bring up the first baseman, Scooter Sandbrick, making his playoff debut. That's inside. Hit and run up the third base line. That is a fair ball for Sandbrick. Forward to first, just laid infield single. Good. Worked as a great... One for a hit. First and second, one down for Tremendo. Hitless in the first game, 0 for 3. Ball inside. Grounded to the third. Woody to second, one. Sam in the first, around the horn. It's a double play, and that ends the inning as Fuller gets out of trouble. To the third, McFreddy, reliable, and Woody do up. Brings up McFreddy, the first baseman batting eighth today. He went two for four in the first game. Singling twice. Cooper still locked in out there on the mound. Late down a fastball down the middle. McFreddy down swinging. Second punch out for Cooper. One down in the inning, and that'll bring up Reliable. Up for four in the first game. Batting in the nine slot today. Low pitch active here. Cutter at the knees, driven into the left center gap, running after it wheels. Just can't get there. That'll be extra bases for Reliable as he will have a double here with one down. First hit in the playoffs for Reliable as he's in scoring position at the top of the lineup. Woody's 0 for 1 today. Struck out swinging his first time up. Looking to make contact here. Got 
Good take outside, 2-0. Oh. Change it down the middle, rip foul, 2-1. and one. Cutter at the knees, lined in the right center field. That's a base hit for Woody. Now we'll drive in the first run of the game as Reliable will score from second. 1-0 Freebooters as they draw first blood here in the third. Cooper no longer locked in. That'll bring up Pitt, so for one. Cutter at the knees, lined in the left center field, giving Chase wheels. He'll run it down, though. Two down. That hung up just long enough. Brings up the three-hitter. Catcher Effort Ho, 0 for one today. Cutter at the knees, Ho sits on it, drives it into right field, but Tremendo's right there on the liner. That ends the inning. Still an RBI single for Woody, makes it a 1-0 game. Bottom three, Briefs action, and wheels do up. Catching Jason Briefs up first, he went 2-3 for three in the first game as well. Singling twice. Oh, and 2 the count from Fuller. Two to the count, good check swing take. Inside check swing, full count. Fastball way line to second. Salmon lunges to his right to make the stop. One down. Brings up action over one. That definitely saved extra bases right there. About off 0 and 2, the count to action. Well down and then rip foul just outside the line. Pops up behind the plate. Off the backstop though, still 0-2. Take it down in the way, grounded them to hold a short. Reliable backhands it and fires. In time, two down. Brings up wheels, 0 for 1. He's tense now. Foul off 0-2. Right Change up up and in. Swung through it. Strike three. First punch out for Fuller. Is That's a 1-2-3 inning for him in the third. <laughs> to the fourth. We're up one. Jennings, Polbean, and Salmon do up. Jennings 0-1 today. Look for his first hit of the contest. Two out of the count. Change up and away, dribbler to third. Bridges bare hands and fires in time. One down. He's a pole bean. He's one for one with the single. Slider middle in, lined up the middle to right center over the diving second baseman's glove. It's a base hit for pole bean. He's two for two. Bring up the second baseman, Cole Salmon. He's locked in. One for one today with a single. Last bump and then blooped in the left field. That's over the diving Chris Glove. It's another base hit. Second hit for Sam, and he's two for two as well. Two on one down for Nixon, who grounded into a double play his first time up. He's 0 for 1. One one the count. Cutter at the knees. Nixon gets under it, drives it to right center field, hits it pretty well. Should be an easy play for Tremendo. Throw to second. We'll allow the runner to tag up. Polbean makes it to third. Runners at the corners. Two down for McFreddy, who's 0 for 1. He struck out swinging on a fastball down the middle. 0 for 1 today. Chase it low. 0 and 1. Fastball at the knees. Line to first. Sandbrick backhands the liner. That ends the inning. Another scoring opportunity stranded. Bottom four. Bridges, Reddier, and Chris do up for the loose. Bridges, 1 for 1 with the single. Fuller here locked in after three shutout innings to start the game. Line to the third. Woody leaps, lunges, and knocks it over to Reliable, who makes the catch. One down. Great teamwork, guys. Haven't seen that before. That'll bring up Reddy Euro for one. Like they were playing volleyball with each other. Curveball on the first pitch. One hopper to short. Reliable there. Two down. He's a crisp out for one. Line with middle in the first pitch. That's a base hit. Nacho now one for two. Is that two out single keeps the inning alive here for the Moose? 
That brings up left fielder Buster Biggs, one for one with the single as well. Got it down and in line past McFreddy, but it's foul. A one pitch coming. Swung through late, 0 and 2. Down and away, chased it in the dirt, strike three. Second punch out for Fuller as he gets another zero on the board. To the fifth, we're still up one. Reliable Woody and Pitts do up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Hoon? I've never seen that before. It's like they played volleyball with one another right there. S sets it up, the other guy catches it. <laughs> Reliable up, singled his first, doubled his first time up. He's one for one. Oh, and two. Change up down the middle, rip foul, 0-2. Oh Ladder down in the way, bloop to short. Chris makes the catch in left center, shallow, one down. I bring up Woody, RBI single last time up, he's one for two. Two out of the count to Christopher. Laid on the heater, two and one. Fastball down and in, line in the left, that's a base hit. Woody is his second hit today. He's two for three. We got Pitts over two. Captain flew out his last to go around. Had two and zero in the count again. Make the three and zero now. Slider at the knees, three and one. And that's a high pitch outside. Ball four. First walk for Cooper today. First and second, one down for Ho, who's over two. Ho oh, flew out his last time up the center field. Two out of the count. Caught the inside corner with the heater, two and one. Pass popping away, lined up the first baseline. Sandbrick with a nice diving catch. Saved extra bases and a run, two down. That'll bring up Jennings, so for two. Fastball middle in lined up the middle in the right center field. That it might be extra bases. Jennings held to a single, but one run will score. It is 2 0 as he gets an RBI. I bring up Paul Bean, 2 for 2 today. Two singles for Martin as he looks to break it open here in the fifth. Steeler active for Jennings over there at first. Fastball for him lined softly to second. Action there to make the catch. That ends the inning, but we get another run on a single by Jennings. 2-0 to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom three in the lineup due up for the Moose. Sandbrick, Tremendo, and Briefs. Scooter Sandbrick up first. One for one today with a swinging broken bat. Bunt single his first time up. Liner up the middle, one hopper off the mound. That's a base hit for Sandbrick. He's two for two. Lead off man on the inning for the Moose. He's locked in. He's a Trendo for one. Our goes on the first pitch. Throw down by Ho. In time to nail him as Sandbrick's retired after trying to steal. And he's no longer locked in. 0 for one in the playoffs is Sandbrick on the steals. A one pitch coming here to uh, Tremendo. Make it 0 and 2. But down in the way, fat off, still 0-2. Two. Two seamer up and in, check swing high, 1-2. and two. Fastball up and away, swung through it, strike three. Third punch out for Fuller today, two down in the inning. And bring up Reeves, 0-1. Right, first baseline is foul. One and two to briefs. Seam up and in. Fisted to short on the ground. Reliable charges and fires. In time, and that's going to end the inning for Fuller's. He got another zero on the board to the sixth. Still up two. Sam and Nixon and McFreddy do up. Fishman leading off. Coles two for two today. He's singled twice. Just missed that. That should have been a homer. Out off 0 and 2. 
Slider below the knees, dribbled up the middle. That could be a tough play. Chris bare hands and fires. Late infield single for Sam, and he's 3 for 3. Brings up Nixon, who's 0 for 2. Tense. Nixon flew out his last time up. He's also hitting to a double play. Rookie not having a great day so far. Change it down the middle. Pulled foul by Nixon. 2 and 1. Laid at the knees. 2 and 2. Fastball up. Grounded up the middle. Action. Backhands. Flips the second one. Chris the first. Another double play for Nixon. He's 0 for 3. Brings up McFreddy. 0 for 2. Fastball down the middle, lined at the middle, base hit for Harsh. One for three, Dave, for the first baseman. It's his single will extend the inning here. For Reliable, who doubled. He's one for two today. Slide it down in the weight, grounded back to the mound. Cooper to first, that ends the inning. Bottom six. Top of the lineup up for the Moose. Action, wheels and bridges. So they're down two. Action over two today, looking to start it off positively. You see me down in the way, hitting the hold of second, diving Sam to his left to cut it off. We'll go to first, one down, nice play. Brings up wheels over two, intense. Got off, two and two the count. Bounces in the dirt, three and two. Pass bumping away, line to short, reliable leaps, knocks it down. Wheels beat it out with an infield single as he's got great speed. One for three a day, and that'll bring up Bridges, one for two with the single. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Runner goes on the 1-0 pitch as that curveball's outside. 2-0 the count. First stolen base for wheels today, and in the series, he's 1-for-1. One 2-0 one. pitch coming. Got off, 2-2. Two and Ladder two. up and away, chased high and foul. Full count. Well down and away, pulled foul on the hit and run. See him up and in, fouled off again on the hit and run. Pick off the second, nothing doing. Down and in, rip foul, still a full count. Or 2 2 the count still. Pass down in the way, chased it outside. Fourth punch out for Fuller, two down in the inning. I bring up Reddy or 0 for 2. Grounded in the hold of second. Sam and Bearhands flips the first in time. That ends the inning as Fuller gets another zero on the board. Quality start for Bishop to the seventh. It's 2 nothing. Woody, Pitts, and Ho to up. Woody 2 for 3 today. He's single twice and also driven in a run. Grounded at the middle of the first pitch. Chris dives and cuts it off. A fire. Gets Woody one down. It's a Pitts over 2. Walked his last time up. Fastball down, line to third, two down. Bring up Ho, 0 for 3. Ball Ball two out of the count to Ho. Fastball to knees, line to right field. Base hit for effort, he's 1 for 4. That single is the 11th today for the Freebooters, and that keeps the inning alive here for Jennings. 1 for 3 with an RBI single, as Cooper done here after 6 and 2 thirds, giving up 11 hits. Two and runs in a walk as right-handed specialist Grace Lupinovich is out of the pen. Former free bidder looking to slam the door here in the seventh. Swung late, one and one to Jennings. That's what the lace fouled off, one and two. That's what the knees line at the middle. Jennings has his, has another hit. I believe he's two for three today. It's first and second on with two down for Paul Bean. Two for three with two singles. A specialist active here for Lupinovich. Two 
by the count to Martin. Lay it on the heater away, two and one. Way out in front of the changeup, two and two. Curveball hangs and Martin crushes it to right center field, running it down his wheels in the gap that ends the inning. Still 2 nothing to the bottom of the seventh. Chris Biggs and Sandberg do up. Chris 1 for 2 today with the single. Two other count. Two one. Slider up and away, line to left center field. That's a gapper as that's gonna one hop to the wall out there. Paul Bean will get it in, but Chris is on the lead off with a double. Which will bring the tying run to the plate for the moose here in the seventh as it's Buster Biggs. One for two with a single today. That was off the first pitch, 0 and 1. That's my boy fouled off, 0 and 2. Bouncing curveball, 1 and 2. Seamer up and in, chased it high. Another punch out for Fuller, his fifth today. One down, and that'll bring up Sandbrick, 2 for 2 today with two singles. He has RBI dead active, though. One the count. Two one. Change up and then foul back. Two and two. Seamer down and in inside. Full count. Down in the way. Swung through it. Strike three. Another punch out for Fuller. Sixth of the day. Two down in the inning. And then I bring up Tremendo 0 for two. Pinch hitting for him as he was tense is. First baseman Mantonio Levo. First pitch change up, Rip Fowles. He was looking fast. Ball 0 and 1. Fast ball up and in. Driven deep. Right center field. Going back Nixon. Warning track wall. Leaping. It's into the Freebooters bullpen. It's a home run for the pinch hitter Levo as he ties it at two with his first hit of the postseason in his first at bat. Pinch hitter came through. I'm going to bring up briefs over two. Well, we're looking to get out of the seventh here. First pitch curveball, sky to center. Jennings back, makes the catch, and that ends the inning. But the pinch, hit, pinch hitter Lavo hits a two-run homer as they tie the game up at two to the eighth. Sam and Nixon and McFreddy do up. Cole's 3 for 3 today. He's locked in with three singles as Lavo will exit as backup catcher Rocky Backstop will come in to play catcher, moving Jason Briefs, the primary catcher, to right field. Strike. Oh, on the count to Cole. Outside. outside heater, 1 and 1. Change it down, rip foul, 1 and 2. Fastball down in the way, swung through it, strike 3. First punch up for Lupinovich, 1 down. He's up Nixon. Right fielder is 0 for 3 in tents. Specialist also active against him. Cutter down the middle, 0 and 1. Cutter away is popped up to second. Should be an easy play for action. Two down as that brings up the 8 hitter McFreddy. 1 for 3 with a single last time up. He's also got specialist working against him here. 0 1. Pass bump and then bloop to right center field. That will drop for a base hit. McFreddy now two for four. This is two out single. We'll keep the inning alive. That'll bring up the nine hitter reliable. One for three with the double. His power versus right hander active now as Lupinovich is in the game and still has his low pitch. Change up down and in is ripped hard in the right field. That's a base hit for uh, reliable as that will move. McFreddy to third. Runners at the corners on the single. Two down for Woody. Two for four day. Two singles and an RBI, but he has specialists working against him. Change away. Ball one. Fastball in. Two and oh. Chased it outside. That was a bad pitch to swing at. Two and one. That's high. Three and one. 
Change it down the middle, fouled off. Runner will go at first. Change, but the knees lined is short, but it's right at crisp, and that ends the inning. Another golden opportunity to score is wasted by the offense. Bottom eight, top lineup up for the Moose. As Fuller done after seven innings, go, uh, giving up eight hits, six strikeouts, and giving up only the two earned runs on the home run ball. He will be getting a no decision, but he does record a quality start. Action leading off over three today. Coming out of the bullpen is going to be reliever Kingston Para. In the regular season, Para for us went two and zero. He had a three nine five ERA and a one zero two WHIP. Seven runs given up, six of them earned in seven appearances, recording one save. Thirteen and two thirds innings pitched, fourteen hits given up, two of them homers. He struck out seven and had a batting average against a two sixty nine. Quickly gets ahead of action, 0-1. 1-1 the count. Pops up the third pitch behind the plate. Ho back. Makes the catch, one down. Brings up wheels, one for three with a single. Strike the knees, 0-1. Taken high, 1-1. Middle end, swung through it late, one and two. Right up and away, swung through it, strike three, wheels down, swing in. First punch out for Para, two down in the inning, and then I bring up Bridges, one for three with a single. It's curveball, turned on and ripped foul, out of play. 0 and 1. Fastball down is chopped in front of the plate. Ho fields it cleanly to first. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Para out of the pen. Good pitching from Kingston sends us to the ninth, still tied. Middle of the lineup up for the freebooters. Pitts, Ho, and Jennings. Pitts is over three today with a walk. Looking to get on base here with a hit for the first time today. That's 2 0 the count. Contact versus right hander active for Pitts. Grab all O, 3 0. Curveball middle in is a called strike this time. Three and one. Curveball hangs, retarded at the middle, base hit. Hits has his first hit today. He's one for four. So he'll be on as the go-ahead run to lead off the inning. In the ninth. The ramp catcher Effort Ho. He's singled his last time up. He's one for four, and he's also locked in. Outside pitch and specialist active here for the respective players. One one the count to Ho. Down and in, two and one. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Inside, three and one. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Fastball middle in, driven deep to right field, back for it briefs. Barely had to move, he makes the catch, one down. Brings up Jennings, two for four, two singles and an RBI today. Fastball up line to third. Off of Bridges. Gloves it gets by Chris. That's an infield single. Tried to duplicate our play that we did earlier and they failed. <laughs> two on one down for Paul Bean, who's two for four. He's got two singles today. Fastball high, ball one. Fastball up and in, two and oh. Change it down the middle. Rip foul by Paul Bean, two and one. Check swing low, three and one, good take. Change about the knees, retard to third, bridges to second one, it's a double play as action gets it the first in time. Martin had a chance to drive in a run and he fucked it up again, just like the most of the offense today. Bottom nine, we're tied, Redier, Crisp, and Diggs do up. Brings up Redier, out for three, he's leading off, he's tense. Out off 0 and 2. That's bumping away. Popped up in front of the plate. Ho there for it. Now on the plate. Makes the catch. One down. So Chris, 2 for 3 today. He doubled his last time up. He's also singled. Now in front of the change up 0 and 1. That's ball away. 1 and 1. 2 and 1. Three and one. 
full count now. Tough out active for uh, Crisp. Dribbler to second. Salmon charges bare hands and fires in time. Two down. They bring up Biggs. One for three with the single. Last one down in the way. Strike at the knees. 0 and 1. Double down and in. Ground into the middle. Salmon dives and cuts it off. He has to hurry. Gets it to first in time. 1, 2, 3 inning for par as he forces extras. To the 10th. Salmon, Nixon, and McFreddy do up. Salmon 3 for 4 today. He's singled three times. Lupinovich done after two and a third innings, giving up five hits and striking out one. Coming out of the bullpen is long reliever Bradley Bowler, who was on the team in the championship year in year four. I believe he was, all, he was actually on the team last year. He took a, got us all the way to the finals, and then we just couldn't capitalize on it. He was very good out of the bullpen for us in those clutch situations. He has to eat up some innings here in extras. One and two, the count to Cole. Aspel down and in is sky to left field. This should be an easy play. Over for it and calling is the left fielder, Biggs, to make the catch. One down. Brings up Nixon, rookie over for four and tenths. We're going to pinch hit for him. He's coming off the bench is going to be right fielder Dominic Burnside, who went two for four in the first game. Hit a solo home. He drew, hit a two run homer in that game. I know of contact for his right hander active. Slider up, one hopper to second, easy play for action, two down. Brings up the eight hitter McFreddy, two for four, two singles today. Fastball up and in, driven deep left center field, McFreddy cracks it, deepest part, of, one of the deeper part of the parks as a one hops at the base of the wall. Be a double for McFreddy, he's now three for five as he's in scoring position for the nine hitter. Shortstop Hester Reliable who singled his last time up, he's two for four. Looking to drive in the go ahead run. Inside missing from Bowler, ball one. Down and in, fastball, one and one. Change bit the knees, rip foul, one and two. Change up, up, one hopper to first. Sandbrick makes it fields cleanly. He'll go to the bag, and that ends the inning, as once again, we cannot drive in a run. Bottom ten, Sandbrick, backstop and briefs do up. Sandbrick two for three today, He's single twice. Burnside stays in the game in right field. Are locked in after two, uh, three up, three down innings. Ahead 0 and 2. Well down in the way, fouled off. Side up and in, popped up in front of the mound. Para off this time. Makes the catch, one down. He's a backstop. Catcher getting his first bat of the game as he came on as a defensive replacement in the eighth inning. Three of the cap. Make it three one. Foul off, full cap. Right down in the way, foul off again. Pass up and in, pops up in front of the mound. Ho over for it. Makes the catch, two down. We got briefs over three. First pitch fastball grounded to third. Wardy cleanly fields it to first. Another 1 2 3 inning for Parr as he's faced nine and set them all down in order. To the 11th, we're still tied. Woody, Pitts, and Ho do up. Here's Woody, two for five, two singles and an RBI. Two of the count. Swung late, two and one. Fastball away, fouled off, two and two. Change bet the knees, line to right center, that drops for a base hit. Woody is his third hit today, he's three for five. Or three for six, sorry. I'll bring up Pitts, singled his last time up, he's one for four, he's also walked. Slider down and then low, ball one. Fastball put in, two and zero oh to Pitts. Fastball down the middle, swung late, two and one. Hunter goes, fast bump it in his high, throw down. Woody beats the throw as he steals his first base of the postseason. He's one for one, three one the count. 
Slider at the knees, ripped up the middle. That's a base hit. Woody uh, got a good jump. He's going to try and score. Here's the throw from Wheels. It is late. RBI single for Pitts. Freebooters take the lead 3 2 in the 11th. That'll bring up the Ho, 1 for 5 with the single. Runner goes on the first pitch. Fastball put in is inside. Throw down by backstop is late. As he gets by the fielder, anyways, it was a bad throw. Pitts with his first stolen base of the postseason. He's 1 for 1. Caught the coin zone that time, 1 and 1. Fastball up. It nails Bowler right in the chest. Infield single for Ho as he's 2 for 6. Runners at the corners now with 1 down for Jennings. 3 for 5 day, 3 singles in an RBI. Bowler done after the injury as he took that off the chest. Coming out of the bullpen is left-handed closer Lawrence Wimple. Jennings looking to break it open here as we have runners at the corners and none down. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Slider at the knees, bloop to left field. Good catch by Biggs as he got it on his shoe tops. One down. Gonna bring up pole being two for five, two singles. Hit no double play last time up. Gonna pinch hit for him as uh, Brad Hot Brown's gonna come off the bench. Making his first uh, at bat in the postseason. Slider fisted. Diving is Sandbrick. What a play. Two down. Gonna bring up Sam in three for five, three singles. Will Wimple get out of the jam without allowing a run? One one the count. Inside fastball, knocked down by Wimple. He'll go to first. He'll get out of the jam. Comes on with runners at the corners and none down, and he gets out of it scoreless. Three booters though get an RBI on a single by Pitts. Three two the score to the bottom in the eleventh. Top lineup up for the Moose. Par done here after three innings. Nine up and nine down. One strikeout. In line for the win. Action 0 for 4 today in tents. All right, uh, Adoya is going to come off the bench and play left field. So he'll take over for Brown. And that will be it, I think. I think that's all we're going to do. Who's a better fielder? Freeman's a better fielder for Burnside. I don't want to make that move just yet, though. All right, enough of that. Coming out of the bullpen for the save is going to be closer Persimmon Farmer. Second year hurler. Farmer in her sophomore campaign had no record, a 142 ERA and an 095 whip. In six appearances, she gave up only one run, recording two saves, throwing six and a third innings, four hits given up, one of them a homer. She strip walked two and struck out three, batting average against 182 for Farmer. She looks to slam the door here and give us the series sweep. Oh, one the count. She gets ahead on uh, action. Breaking bat, one and two. Came in active for Farmer. Slider up and in, fouled off. Fastball down and away, fouled off again. Fastball up and away, pop foul out of play. Still one and two. Action really fighting here. Slider down and in, inside, two and two. Fastball and in, swung through it, strike three. First punch out for Farmer, one down. Brings up Wheels, one for four with the single. Oh, two the count, it came in active again here. Fastball and in, check swing high, good take, one and two. Slider down and in, swung through it, strike three. Second punch out for Farmer, two down. Gotta bring up Bridges, one for four with the single. He is the last chance here for the Moose. Out off one and two. Farmer looking for the K. Came in active one more time. Slider but in chases at strike three. Farmer comes in and strikes out the side in the 11th as the Freebooters win and sweep in 11 innings, three to two, your final. Moose are eliminated from the playoffs. We out hit them by a huge margin, 20 to 8, but we could not hit with runners in scoring position, and that scares me moving forward. Still, we got the win. I won't worry about it right now. 
looking at the box scores. Hitless today were uh, Brown in the pinch hitter role and Adoya, who did not get a chance to bat. Nixon 0 for 4, Burnside 0 for 1. Three hits today for Woody, Jennings, Salmon, and McFreddy. Two hits for Reliable, Polbean, Ho, and Pitts. RBIs today for Woody, Pitts, and Jennings. Top of the lineup came through Clutch. On the other side, only eight hits today for the Moose. Uh, action was hitless, as well as Readier and Tremendo, as well as Backstop and Briefs. Man, Antonio Levo drove in the only two runs on a pinch hit two-run homer. Sandberg had two hits, two hits for Crisp, one for Biggs, one for Bridges, and one for Wheels. Pitching lines, Bishop Fuller, quality start, seven innings, eight hits, two earned runs, six Ks, one home run ball, no decision for his troubles. Para, three innings out of the pen, perfect, one strikeout. He gets the win, he improves the 1-0. Farmer comes in in the 11th, strikes out the side, uh, gets her first save of the postseason. On the other side, Cooper, quality start, six and two-thirds, 11 hits, two earned runs, a walk, two strikeouts. No decision for her troubles. Lupinovich, two and a third innings, five hits, a strikeout. Bowler, an inning, four plus four hits, one and run, and a line drive to the chest and an injury, knocking him out. 0 for 1 today. Wimple, a clean inning coming out of the bullpen. Levo, your player of the game with the pinch hit homer, followed by Fuller with the quality start. And then Woody, your third place finisher with the three for six day. RBI stolen base and two runs scored as he did score the winning run in the 11th. Thank you, Hoon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, with that win, the sweep is complete, and we will take on the Sirloins in the conference finals next episode. Let's see how the other side of things shakes out here. And then we'll call it a day. Beebles and Jacks looking to pull the upsets here in their respective matchups. Let's see how they do. Nemesis on the road, force game three as they win three to one. Grapplers will also force game three, winning seven to one. Nemesis rally to win three to two as they advance. Two seed advances. And the Jacks hold off the Grapplers, upsetting the one seed, winning six to one. So in the second round in the conference finals for both sides, we will be taking on the three seeded Sirloins. And the two seeded Nemesis will have home field advantage against the four seeded Jacks. Sounds good to me. And in game one of the series, it will be Bay Paul, the um, veteran batting practice pitcher. She is on the hill for the sirloins, and for us, it is Pat Griffin, the uh, standout second year man who uh, had a very good regular season. So we'll see which team comes out on top next time out. We'll set the lineup here and call today. All right, Woody leads off at third. He's locked in. Then it's Pitts DHing. Ho catching, he's locked in as well. Reliable up to the four slot, he's at shortstop. Jennings bats fifth at uh, center. I'm going to move him up to the four slot and I'll make Reliable the five. Uh, McFreddy will bat sixth at first base. Sam will bat seventh and right second base. Burnside in right field will bat eighth. And Polbean will bat ninth in left field as he is tense. Nixon unfortunately is tense, so we can't just have Burnside in and Nixon in left. So, All right, until next time, guys. This episode, to sum it up, we swept the Moose, we uh, routed them in Game 1, 10-1, and then we won a Nailbiter Instant Classic, 3-2-11. and 11. Next time out, we take on the three-seeded Sirloins as we look to advance to our third straight finals. Uh, league finals, I should say. Until then, this is the Nasty One, signing off.